Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simply Tanika Dion. I am your host, Dion. Today I am going to be going over what I got from the Sephora VIB sale, which I believe that was like three weeks ago. I'm late, I know, I apologize for that. Now also guys, I wanna tell you that this video is re-recorded. This is not what I had on when you see the next segment because with the products I got in the Sephora uh, VIB, I did do a makeup tutorial. So I hope you do stay tuned for that after this same video, just right after this segment. Um, but yeah, I had to re-record because I realized when I was downloading my stuff to the computer, I deleted uh, uh, one of the videos that I should not have. I thought it was something else, but whatever. So I just, you know, came back to re-record. Now some of this stuff is out of the box because I have used it. So sorry about that. Also just to let you know in advance, you know, this stuff was used, but I still have everything here. So, okay, just imagine they were in the box and it was a better uh, video the first time because it was like opening everything for the first time, but whatever, let's get over that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the big shebang. The first thing I got was the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Palette. Um, there's a lot, come on. Come on. Okay. There's a lot of reviews on this palette. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it because like I said, there is um, a tutorial after this and the video is quite long. So yeah, but yeah, um, the reason why I decided to get this uh, palette was because I saw another uh, YouTuber that I do watch, actually a few of them, um, but I saw um, Terry's Corn Terry from Terry's Corner review this palette and she did a wonderful review on it. She explains a lot, goes over the colors, the swatches, all of that. And you know, um, I just decided to go ahead and getting as well as Jackie Natural she did a review on it as well so if you'd like to know more about the palette which you know like I said a lot of people have done it already but that's the reason why I decided to get it now normally I would not get a Pat McGrath palette because they cost so much like over a hundred dollars hundred twenty five dollars and things like that and because of the fact that I do not dip into my palettes that often I feel like $125 is way too much to for me to use one time and have sitting in there for another year you know what I'm saying um it's just I don't use the same palette that often because I get so much stuff so I just don't I would love to do a project pan that would be so great and if I did Pat McGrath would definitely be the one because it costs so much you know what I'm saying but anywho, this palette right here was 17, 17, oh my gosh, this palette right here, this palette right here was $78, which is, you know, a big difference from the $125 one. So, you know, these colors are beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Um, the two, let me see, I don't like this thing right here, but anyway, <laughs> these two rows and these two rows were in other palettes. These two rows in the middle are new colors, and yeah, like I said, there's plenty of reviews out there, but yeah, I love it, it's, it's nice. And you'll see my review on this because this is the palette that I'm using in the next segment, okay? Like I said, $78. And then the next thing I got was another Pat McGrath. This is the Sublime palette. Looks like this on the outside. Yeah. And these are the colors. I have not used this one yet, but I will definitely use it in a video soon. So yeah, that's those. Those are very pretty, very earthy. I love it. This was $14. All right. And then this I also got, which is out of the pack because like I said, this is a re-record. So this is already out the pack, but I did get a little mini matte lip trio. These are lipsticks and they are the minis. They got the same Pat McGrath little um, you know, uh, signature lips on there and so forth. Now, let me just, um, go, let's see this one right here. This orange outer packaging is called flesh three. This is the orange one. Come on. Looks like that. Very, very, very pretty color. Very pretty. All right. And then this is the yellow one, the yellow outer packaging color is an orange I mean yellow and this one is called charity what Christy I'm sorry this is called Christy very pretty as well love it love it love it will look good on anyone in my opinion and then this one right here 
and this one is called Beautiful Stranger. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Come on. All right, all three, very, very pretty. This lip trio was $25. And like I said, that wasn't this also is not in the packaging. Um, this is the NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. And let me tell you, this stuff is amazing. Uh, amazing. This is the wand. I really, 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 really love it. You'll see that I use this on my bottom lashes as well as my top lashes in the video. But this is good. It really lengthens and thickens your lashes. It does both actually for me, but it lengthens more and I really, really like it a lot. This um, mascara was $24, $24. All right, and the next thing I got here was uh, this NARS palette. What is this? NARS Climax Extreme Effects Eyeshadow Palette. Like this. All right, and then come on, wait a minute, wait a minute, confusing me. All right, as if I needed another eyeshadow palette to sit around, but no, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna start doing more tutorials and using these palettes. I have to. Because, you know, I hate them just sitting around because they're so pretty. And, again, for most of you who don't know or that are new, I'm a very, very earthy, neutral, warm tones type of girl. I use colors. I don't mind colors. I like colors. But if I had to choose, it would always be this type. So, yeah, very pretty colors. Very, very pretty. Love these colors. Love them love them all right and did i say yeah that this palette was 59 dollars y'all know nars is expensive anyway but yeah 59 dollars and i do want to use this and i am going to use this all right and then with that i did get nars this is out of packaging because i use it in the next clip you'll see that i got the nars soft matte Foundation, I got medium deep 2.6, which is Hua Hine. I guess that's how you say that, but that's the color I got. And I know I am a very dry skin girl, but I had to try this because I've seen so many YouTubers say that they really, really like this. Now, I saw a lot of the um, more um, experience and bigger youtubers using they love it but I tend to go by the reviews of the smaller youtubers like myself and you know just smaller ones not maybe you know have more than me but not the big 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 one because they tend to give more of an honest review in my opinion and I heard a lot of great things about it so I decided to try it and um, that NARS foundation is $40 and then to go with that, I also got the NARS Soft Matte uh, Concealer. This is in the color Caramel, Caramel Medium Dark 2. This is what it looks like. And then um, I did use it in the next clip, so you'll see that it's used. So this is the color. Come on. I hate when you don't uh, cooperate. Thank you. Thank you very much, camera. All right. And that concealer is $30. And then I got a, um, another Too Faced Born This Way uh, medium to full coverage foundation. Um, it looks like this, basically, because I needed a new one. Um, See mine right here. You see how it's all looking. I use it all the time. This needs to be shaken up right now. But um, yeah, normally I'm in the color brulee. Um, so if you're you know looking for a nice color, this is beautiful, beautiful foundation. I love it. This is my favorite. Has been for like um, a year now maybe because I use it all the time. But yeah, this is my favorite foundation right now. Okay. Now this, like I said, is brulee, and I really like it. It tends to be my um, 
perfect match like it's my skin tone and so forth but i tend to like to buy my foundation a little bit darker because i like to cover up or try to cover up the uh, moles on my face a bit more you know so i tend to try to buy a foundation that's a little light uh darker so this time instead because that's like my third time getting that foundation in brulee this time i said i wanted to try a color like a slightly darker so this time i got butter pecan um the same thing it's just butter pecan that's all um so i wanted to see how it looks in a little bit darker color okay so yeah that's why i got that i will try this as a first impressions in a video as well even though it won't be really a first impressions but the color well so maybe we won't call it first impressions but it's a different color so we'll see if it you know is what i'm looking for okay that was forty dollars and then the last thing i got here was or it yeah was this airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day by charlotte till charlotte tilbury okay um yeah and this is a setting spray and i was really 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 excited to try this because i've seen a lot of youtubers say this is a great product as well says it really keeps your makeup in place it lasts all day they even say to wear this um with uh, a mask and it keeps it from um coming off or yeah for your makeup to come off on your mask i haven't tried it yet of course because it's still in the box but i can't wait to try it even if it doesn't do that um you know it's nice to hear that people say that it does you know so yeah and the charlotte tilbury uh setting spray that was 35 dollars and like i said that was everything now um for that that total was 345 dollars and i got the uh 15 off and it came to 293.25 so i paid 293.25 for all of this which isn't bad in my opinion because i got a lot of you know nars is expensive and you know so forth but oh and i'm sorry i didn't even tell you the um you know how sephora has their uh points and things with um with their program um so yeah i used some of my points i had like 600 points or something i didn't use them Oh shoot, <laughs> got this on my hand. But anyway, um, I didn't use all the points. I, I think I only used 200. I believe these cost 200 and that's all. Now, um, yeah, so the first thing I got was this Glam Glow Youth Mud. I like these. I just didn't want to buy a full one, but I really do like this one. I, li I like this one in the black. I really like this one. So I just got a little small one just to try. I didn't want to buy a full one because I have so many masks that I need to get through. But I did want to use uh, at least some of the little points that you had, you know. Um, so, yeah, that was one thing. And then the next thing um, is this Drunk Elephant Makeup Melting Butter. So it's like a cleansing balm. Uh, make you know melts off your makeup and this is a very nice size this little deluxe size this is very nice nice size from drunk elephant come on come on yeah and it's yeah like i said it's like a little cleansing balm so that's always nice i love cleansing balms and butters and things like that so that's pretty good to get for free you know for your little points oh there's something else at the bottom that i did not see Drunk Elephant Bamboo Booster Exfoliant Physique uh, Bamboo Extract Charcoal Powder. I did not even see that in the box, but yeah. So that's going to be fun to try, whatever it is, because it says powder. That intrigues me, so <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that is everything that I have. So like I said, if you'd like to see the look I created with the um, uh, Pat McGrath palette here, please continue to watch. All right, first things first. First, I did prep my skin before I even did the unboxing, um, you know, with all my skincare and so forth. Now, today I actually use um, this, what is this, Juno and Company Moonshine Miracle Cream. Now, I just got this in the mail maybe last week, Wednesday. Yeah, for sometime last week is when I got it. Um, looks like this. Just like a moisturizer primer. It's a two-in-one. And it has hyaluronic acid. Y'all know I love that because <laughs> I'm so dry. Um, my skin is so dry. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it um, is a two-in-one uh, um, cream. It uh, has hyaluronic acid in it. Um, it moisturizes, has aloe. It has a blurring effect, which I actually think that it did. This is my first time using it. And I actually think that it blurred. Um, it looks like it did pretty good. Now, I'm not going to use any other 
um, primer or um, my um, professional. See, I either use the professional or I would use the no problem. Either one of these for uh, pores. These are my two faves. So I'm not going to use either one of these today either. Um, the only thing that I'm going to be using is this two-in-one primer moisturizer like it says that you can so i just want to see how it works on its own so you know now after i see how it works on its own you know once i do my makeup again or whatever i might add my own stuff using other stuff i don't know but for today's video i'm actually i'm actually just going to use this okay again these are the beautiful colors right here all righty now as you know uh these colors, some of these colors were in other palettes before. Um, the two in the middle, right here, these these two rows are the new ones. These two and these two were in other palettes of hers. Okay, so let me just take a quick look real quick to see what I'm going to do. Um, and since it's first impressions, I'll just think of something real quick. Hope it just comes out right, <laughs> but this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so... I don't know. I'm not going anywhere, so if it doesn't come out right, oh well. But I am going to go ahead. I think I'm going to go ahead and do. All right. Now, I'm going to be using. Uh, Jeffree Star. Yeah. Most likely I'm going to be using all these. These are all Jeffree Star brushes. Um, these, all of these, except for this one and this one. I just pulled them, most of them out. Not all. I don't know if I'm going to use those Jeffreys. But anyway, so these ones right here, these are the ones I just pulled. And I think I'm going to use whatever ones I need from this set right here. Jeffrey, all Jeffree Star Morphe um, brushes. When he did that collab. And these two right here are um, two Fenty brushes. Two Fenty. Where is it? Fenty. Wherever it says it is. Somewhere on there. Can you all see that? These are Fenty brushes. Okay. So I'm going to use the Jeffree Star and these two Fenty's. Alright. So firstly I'm going to go with he. Oh I'm sorry. I didn't even tell y'all. And I primed my eyelid with this uh, Morphe eyeshadow base right here translucent okay now i'm also well i'll do that um yeah i might as well go ahead and do it and then on top of the morphe i usually put the la girl concealer on top just to give it more staying power so i just squeeze a little bit on on the brush and then i just brush it on And do the same thing on the other side. I need to get me another one. This one's almost gone. And this is also what I use to cut crease too. So when I cut crease. Uh, let me get my mirror here. That is that. Can you guys see that? All right. Now, if I need to go back in after I add color, um, I may go back in with the P. Louise. Um, what number do I get? I got number two here. I use this sometimes for cutting crease, but I don't like this alone. I have to use this with it. Um, now, I was using the Mac, Pat, <laughs> the Mac Paint Pot um, in Soft Ochre. But I like that too. I like it a lot. But I just, I don't know, something about this I really, really enjoy. Now I can use this alone or layer it on top of something. Either way, this is perfect. Um, and actually, I haven't used the Make Pat Mac Paint Pot since um, I ran out. And <laughs> once when I ran out, I decided to try this one. But most likely, I'm going to go back to the Paint Pot. So, yeah. But anyway, I may use that uh, if some of the color uh, needs to be reapplied and I might have to do a cut crease. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. That's why. So, and so you guys, the reason why I don't usually do talk throughs for some of the people that are new and that are just now starting to walk me is because, I don't know, I feel like it's a lot of awkward quietness. You know what I'm saying? 
So anyway, right now I'm going to go ahead, like I said, to take one of my Jeffree Star brushes and I'm going to take uh, this color right here. I don't like these things on the side right here, y'all. I don't. You know, the things that make it, I don't like that. I might cut that off eventually. But anyway, I'm going to use this color right here, this pink color. I'm going to put this in the inner portion of my crease and then I'm going to take this uh, darker one, okay, in the outer part of the crease okay so let me do that again this is for the inner portion of the crease right here and this one right here is gonna be on the outer okay that's my plan I don't know just came to me that's my plan now first impression tapping that in I felt like or I feel like it laid down very nicely but very very soft it's a matte color very very soft there this is a color that I feel like we have to build up but that's okay I don't mind building up color because that's what I like that's my whole thing on my channel I may come in looking a mess but the fun is to see how it turned out you know what I'm saying I am not one of them People that do makeup, that every single step has to be perfect. Because that's not what you're going to find here. Because I'll be looking a mess, y'all. I'm telling I look a mess. Half the time I do this. And you be like, what the hell is going to happen with this look? I'm serious. That's how you be when you see me doing my videos. But the fun part is to see the outcome. You know what I'm saying? That's why sometimes in my thumbnail, I try to hide it so you can, you know, be surprised it's about the element of surprise for me it is anyway I love surprise and so yeah that's the two I'm gonna try to talk as much as I can in between this get ready with me if you will even though I'm not going anywhere but I'm gonna call it a get ready with me anyway <laughs> you know so yeah and I just like to just keep packing it on like this packing 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 on both sides and then I just take in you know, do a little bit of blending, just a little, just a little. Sometimes I change my accent. I don't know why, y'all. <laughs> I have no idea why I do that. I'm crazy. Okay, so that's that part. That looks pretty normal right there. Just stamp it on first is what I do, and blend that out just a little where the two where the two meet. Just tap it in, overlay it a little bit overlay that up a little bit so tell me what is everybody doing for thanksgiving anybody having family over anybody going over someone's house anybody volunteering at shelters or church or you know whatever i don't even know if they're going to be doing that are they going to do that this year because of you know the whole COVID situation I mean but you know homeless people still got to eat even though it's COVID you know so I, I mean I don't know anyone traveling out of state any of that good stuff I'm not this Thanksgiving is definitely different I usually where we usually always have a big family thing and myself and my mother we do the cooking and we'll either have it at my house or my mother's house this year uh-uh I'm uh, only having my own family, just me, my husband, and my two sons. Yeah. For anybody that's new and just now joining me, um, pretty sure you may know that I have a seven-year-old son, and his name is Jaden. And I do have an older son. His name is Daquan. He is 26. And yes, he does live here. He just works a lot, but he does live here with me and I'm happy about that. You know how most parents, they can't wait for their kids to get old and move out. I am totally the opposite. And anybody that knows me will, t or yeah, that knows me will tell you, I completely 100% mean that for real. I don't want him to leave ever. And I always tell him when he find that one girl that he likes and not just, you know, just finding little girlfriends here and there I mean that one special one that he wants to really stay with and be with I always say when you get married I want you to stay here too you your wife your kids I want you here forever and I mean that I really do mean it people be thinking I'm joking I don't want him to ever leave I'm serious 
He's so he's such a good guy. The color that I put in the inner inner corner right here. I want to take that and I'm actually going to put this all over the lid. It's all over this lid here. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys, because I'm actually going to put a color over top of it. This is just to enhance the, the, the colors a little bit that I'm going to put on top of it. So, told y'all, y'all, when I do makeup, it is not pretty. Like you be seeing some of these people, mm -mm, not your girl. This is not a pretty situation. It's levels to this ish, you know, it's levels. My um, birthday is next month, December 10th, God. I'm happy about that. I'm always happy about it. Not doing nothing, not going nowhere. Y'all, this summer since COVID and all that, I have not been not one place. I didn't even go to the beach. I just didn't trust it. See, my son, my seven-year-old, he's a preemie. And I know he's out of that, you know, preemie stage, of course. But I just feel like his immune system is so, that is weak. Like my, when my son gets a cold, he gets a cold and he's not sick for like a week. He's usually sick for like seven to ten days. And he usually has to miss at least ten days out of school. Always. I mean, it gets so bad. He has to go to the doctor. They have to give him. It's just, I don't know. I just feel like his immune system is so weak. So I don't go anywhere. And I don't expose him to none of that. So we haven't been anywhere. We haven't seen family. I mean, my mom and dad have seen them. Seen my sister, my nephew. But not that often. But we have seen them and visited and had them visit after I take temperatures and um, make sure they have a mask and all that. But yeah, I'm not trying to expose him to anything. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to expose myself to anything either, you know. But um, yeah, so we haven't did anything. And I don't plan on doing nothing until I feel like it's completely safe for my kid. It's just a sacrifice I'm willing to take. I just don't go anywhere. I, I don't. I mean, we go grocery shopping in the back. My son barely, I mean, he's seen outside because we go, you know, outside walking, up and down, um, walk. We do a lot. He goes um, little nature hikes and we go um, to the river, stuff like that, but not around a whole bunch of people, you know. I'm, you know, I'm not trying to isolate him from the outside world so that once he sees outside, he's going to think he in a whole new world, you know, not nothing like that. <sighs> so, and then I'm going to take... Um, that same Jeffree Star brush and going with the darker color again, that fluffy brush, and put it on the outside. Right about here. I like to bring my eyeshadow all the way out here always because, you know, I take a um, makeup wipe and I just make that line crisp. So, I generally just... Um, Bring it all the way out like this. All the way out like that. I know this looks a mess. I know I keep saying that. And I know it do. But, you know, you got to trust the process from your girl. Just trust the process. It'll come out looking nice. I hope. But for the most part, it comes out looking nice. I mean. Yeah. So, it's just, like I said, it's levels to this, y'all. Just some levels. See? But yeah, those colors looking good together though. That light pink and that little darky purple type thing. Next, I am going to take this color. Let's see. This color right here. And I'm going to use this um, Fenty brush. And I'm going to put this on uh, over top of that light pink shade. I don't know how it's going to do with the brush. But I'm going to try. You know what I should do? I'm just going to put it right next to this color, which is not doing nothing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, let me just try it with my finger, see if that helps.
a little bit, but hard candy glitter glue. Let's see if that helps. So now I'm going to take some more glitter glue. I'm going to take it on a bigger brush this time. This is, um, I don't know what, doesn't even have a name on it, but I'm just going to take this one because it's a little bit more room on here and I'm just going to put some glitter glue on this brush and yeah I'm going to go ahead and put some on this side that's more than what I wanted <laughs> a lot more but whatever let me go ahead and put some on this side yeah that's more than what I wanted guys on that area right there rather I'm just trying to lay it down where I want the uh, the um, color. Sorry, I should do so. Put a little bit more on this side. I have to work quick. Matter of fact, you know what, guy? I'm putting on the whole thing. I'm just gonna work super fast. That's what I'm gonna do. I probably should wait, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. A little bit more, a little bit more. See how fast you girl can go. Sorry about the ugly faces, but it's a makeup face. That's a true makeup face, y'all. All right, so. We got that all over there. Got this here. Let me go ahead and get started before it all dries. Okay. Okay, so we got both sides set. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with this Rihanna brush and get that color on the other part real quick. Got a girl, girl got to move. Got to get this stuff done. Look how that works, y'all. Look how that color just showed up with that glue. Yes, honey. Look at that. Smooth. Smooth. All right, let me just, I'll come back to that if I need to in a minute. All right, let me just, and now I'm going to go in with this Sigma E58 brush. And I'm going to take that um, other color that I showed you. I'm going to take the, um, where, oh, this one, sorry. This one right here. Take this one and put it in the on, inner corner part. Yep. That glitter glue. Yeah, baby. Can y'all see that? Look at that. So cute. Come on. Before it dries up. Look at that. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Y'all saw I did try to put it on with my finger. And I did try to put it on with a brush. Neither one of them was showing up the way that I wanted it to. So... That is why I had to add the glitter glue, and that definitely helped out in my case. Other people may have did it different, but for me, I needed that glitter glue for real. Now look at those colors. Poppity pop pop popping. I did apply the chocolate taco lashes from Glam Light. This is the packaging. And these are the lashes, and this is with me cleaned up everything. Looking real spivvy. Is that the word? Spivvy. I don't know, but anyway, this is what it looks like up close, you guys. Real cute, see? There's levels to it. I think it came out really cute, cute, cute. Okay, so now we're going to get into this NARS Soft Matte. And I know that I am a dry girl. I have dry skin. And I don't generally go for matte or soft matte foundation. But because I hear such beautiful things about this, I wanted to try it. Okay, so that's why I got it. Now, um, again, I told you my color is Hua Line Medium Deep 2.6. I showed that earlier. So let's go ahead and, because um, in the packaging, it looks way too light, but... 
let's go for it so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just put some on my hand here like that okay and I'm going to take the beauty blend that I used earlier actually you know what no I'm not I'm gonna just take my minted um, foundation brush here this is from minted I'm gonna use my mint shoot minted foundation brush so I'm gonna go ahead and dip right in and I will tap it out now usually guys oh that looks light don't it now usually guys I go in with some um some um color corrector to try to help blend out or uh balance out with the moles and things in my skin but like I said because this is the first impression I'm not going to use anything else on my skin I'm just going to go in with the foundation on its own and you know next time I use it I'll be able to use you know some of my own stuff to make it look better you know so yeah this is the color it looks uh, too light but actually it looks like it's blending so we'll see I don't know but we'll see I don't know but we will see we will see we will see It blends in perfectly, which is cool, but I wish it was a little bit darker, but you know. So I'm going to take a little bit more and dippity dip dip. I don't take a lot on my forehead, so I generally try to use what's left on the brush for the forehead, you know, because it doesn't take that much. And then I try to clean up the top of my eyebrows with it, like that. Sorry, put the mirror in the way. Sorry. And this foundation guy is definitely matte. I can feel it sucking the life out of my skin right now. I feel it. I feel it sucking the life right out of my skin, y'all. Okay, so because of that, but it is a nice coverage, though. It really is a nice coverage, though. It is a really nice coverage. It's cute. But it is matte. Can you see? It is matte matte. <laughs> it's supposed to be a soft matte, but I feel like this is matte matte. Just putting what's left onto my under eye here. But the coverage is pretty though. I think this coverage is pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I don't have no glow oil or nothing on. This is cute. This is really cute, guys. I think this coverage is nice. There's the awkward silence. Alrighty, but anyway, I don't know if I finished talking about this earlier because, you know, I get off topic so fast. But anyway, next month is my birthday, guys, December 10th. I don't know if I said that earlier, but yeah, i um, excited about that. You know, I'm not going to tell you how old I am. I'll tell you about that when the day comes. <laughs> you know, I'm not ashamed because I know I'm an old ass, but... You know, you're only as old as you feel. So, you know. But anyway, we'll talk about that on that date, December 10th. Okay. But, um, yeah. So. And like I said, I'm not going to do nothing on that day. So, you know. We probably get a dinner or go to dinner. Well, I'm uh, not go to dinner. We're like, we'll get some uh, nice restaurant that I want to eat at or whatever. And we all, I and mean, we get it to go. Like, anywhere we go, we get food, whatever we decide we want to have. We always get it to go. Like I told you, I don't go nowhere. In this pandemic, I have not been anywhere but to the supermarket, Trader Joe's, and Walmart. For the last eight months or seven months, however many it's been. I've not been inside nobody's restaurant, nobody's gym. Nobody, none of that type stuff. Nowhere, not anywhere. Nope. 
and I'm not going to now because this is a little bit matting like I said I'm gonna go ahead and take my pink charcoal watermelon face mist with green tea I really love this stuff this is my second bottle I got this in one of my boxes I don't know which box it was I get many boxes although uh, come on it's not even focusing okay although I've canceled like five of my boxes y'all I really did um, January I'm going to I decided well I'm gonna get the ones in December but after <laughs> December I am uh, canceling let me go ahead I just want to re-wet since it's a uh, um, sucking the uh, moisture out of my face this foundation so just want to give it a little bit of wetness and bring some you know some some moisture back up in here so that's what I'm doing and yeah, so yeah, in January, I'm going to cancel all of them except Ipsy and Boxy Charm, all the rest of the other little boxes and stuff. I believe I'm going to cancel, um, you know, I'm even going to cancel Lashy Boxy, guys. I've had Lashy Boxy, I swear it's been like a year. But I think I'm going to cancel. I got four drawers of lashes that I need to go through. I cannot get any more. I do not want to buy another one of these towers. I just bought my second, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine drawer tower thing from ikea this is the second one i never no i'm not buying any more storage none sealer here um and i have medium dark two and caramel i'm going to do a little bit of spot trying i don't know i don't know if i should try it under my eyes too i'm not even sure but anyway i'm going to take this another fenty brush here and i'm just going to pick some of this concealer up like this And I'm going to just put some on, you know, a little bit. Nope. That was wrong, guys, because that's not the color that I thought it was. I thought it was more, a little bit deeper. This <laughs> is too light. So, I'm going to take, um, because, you know, my idea was to put this on there and then just blend it out. So they can give a little bit more cover just on these spots. You know, I don't want to highlight these spots. I want to cover them. This is a little too light for... I'm just going to take whatever is left on this foundation brush. I hope it works out. I hope it covers it. I don't want this to be highlighted. Did it take it away? Yeah, okay. You know what? I'm not going to use that concealer. I am not going to use that concealer the way I wanted to. Um, it's a little drying too. Well, it is soft matte, so I am definitely know I'm not putting it. Because I could tell by when I was picking it up, this is drying. Um, I don't think I'm going to use this under my eye either. I think if anything, I would put it under my eyebrows just like I did with the uh, MAC. Or uh, with the MAC, um, I might even use this as a since I have it and I paid 30 damn dollars for it I may use it as a concealer or something on my eyelids or something because I really I'm it's not going to work for me as a spot thing um I might have to get another one a different color I don't know but you know what since I'm here let's go for this let's go for it let's put it under there let's do it we're here so might as well get a little more I don't know what they doing with that dog but they up there making a lot of noise he having a good old time I know that y'all can hear it. he running around chasing there he come So yeah, I'm just going to put this here. And now they're downstairs. Now they're going to make all that noise and I'm in here trying to do a video. Yeah. I'll tell you, my family gives me not a moment's peace to myself, i tell you. Anyway, so I'm going to take the same sponge that I used and just blend it out. Although, it looks like it's blending very nicely.
all right and this is the finished look guys this is what i came up with using the pat mcgrath celestial what is it celestial uh, divinity right divinity palette so yeah um let me bring you in just a closely closely Okay, so let's talk about it. Alrighty, now as I was saying in the video already, I like the palette. It is cute. I will definitely um, see myself using this again. Colors are so pretty. Um, you know, I use some colors. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five colors, didn't I? Six, six colors here. All right, and you know what I forgot? I thought that I was recording, um, but I was not, so that was my fault. Uh, I was too busy talking to my son and my husband that kept bothering me and I forgot that I wasn't recording at one point. But let me just bring it up a little bit. But this color that I have under my eye here, I went ahead and used this one right here. That's not on the top or nothing. I just wanted to use a uh, use another color in the palette. Um, so yeah, that's different. That's just only under the lower lash line here. That is it. And then this color right here. Come on, this color right here I have in the inner corner, um, inner corners and on my brow bone. And that is it. Um, and the other colors you saw me, the other four colors I used in the video. And like I said, those other two I just used. And then for my lipstick I have on this Huda Beauty Demi Matte in Catwalk Killer. I was going to use one of the Pat McGrath little matte um, minis that I have, but none of them sort of brought out this look so I didn't use one of them today but I will be using that one day so yeah but yeah this is the color very pretty and then um, this I forgot to also show uh, before I put on my lashes this mascara is the business it's nice it even brought in my um, under under eyelashes yeah and usually I don't go for a wand this thick under the bottom but it worked it did a good job and it really lengthened my lashes before I put on the falsies and yeah and then for my um, waterline I use the Patrick Star one size gel liner this is in black I don't know if that's what it's called but it is black point made uh, Patrick Star one uh, Patrick Star <laughs> eyeliner and then for my brows I use the Fenty pencil and then I use the Fenty um, uh, wax her wax so Fenty wax and a Fenty pencil and for the blush today I use Tarte natural beauty and it looks like this and I think that is it and everything else you saw in the video so yeah let me just zoom back out and uh, as far as the hair that I have on today there is a video that I did all about this hair so I won't really get into it it'll be coming up after this video I believe it may be before I don't know whichever one gets edited first I don't know it'll be before or after this one but yeah it's coming oh and also the highlight I have on my face today it is a Morphe collaboration with Bretman Rock this is called Babes in Paradise you guys know all my OG's have been here this is my all-time favorite highlight palette right here. And today I use this one right here. I love, love, love. I have bought two of these. I don't know if they even make these or if this was limited edition, but at the time I bought two. I bought one and then I liked it so much. I bought another one when I, when I had it again. So yeah. And um, yeah, that is everything. This palette I will definitely, definitely be using again. And the NARS, yeah, that's what we need to talk about. The NARS foundation, the soft matte, in uh, medium deep 2.6 hua hine i guess that's how you say that but this foundation look at it look at it guys beautiful soft matte yes it like i said in the video it sucked up some of my moisture but all i had to do is use some wetting spray and um 
I also set my face with the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray right here. Um, I love this one too. But yeah, but yeah, that wetting spray is basically all that I need. Usually I just keep doing that and it'll help me back up. But look at the coverage is what I'm talking about. Look at the coverage. Even with my um, prominent molds, it still did a good job covering up. Look at that. And I didn't even use my Old Faithful. I love to use the um, um, Dragon Beauty. Yes, by, um, what's her name? Nakota, Nakota, Nakota? I can't remember. But anyway, um, Nakota Dragon, I think that's what it is. And, um, but yeah, this soft matte, I didn't have to do anything other than use this. And again, let me go ahead and give praises to this Juno Moonshine. OMG, this worked so well, so well. Like I said, I only use that. I didn't use a separate primer, a separate uh, pores. And look at your girl's face. It makes me feel like I really do have some nice skin, baby. Woo! I mean, you can see it still. Of course, you're going to always see moles because they're very dominant. But, girl, mm-mm, mm-mm, don't. Uh-uh. Yes, I am loving this look and then i tell y'all see you gotta trust the process it's not always glamorous but for me you gotta trust the process and i'm talking way too much and i so so i'm sorry but anyway this is the finished look hope you guys like it i hope you stay to the end to watch it i'm sorry if it was all over the place but that's what you get with me a lot of me for all my new people you get a lot of all over the place but i'm real i'm me Okay, and I think that's all we need to talk about today. I think, did I tell you the lashes? I Yeah, I told you I used the Glam Light Lashes. Okay, I think that's everything that I've used today. And yeah, I am so happy with how the look came out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate you. And don't forget to enter my 2500 subscriber giveaway. I will link that above or below or both. And I just want, you know, everyone to have a chance to win because I'm so excited to give back. That's my best part about doing a YouTube channel. It's not for the money or the likes or the comments and all that. It, although, you know, I love that because I love to interact with you all. But... I love giving back. I swear that is my favorite part is giving back. And, um, you know, I'm about to just stop doing like milestones and just do a giveaway here, here. You get one, you get one, you get one. You know what I'm saying? Like a uh, Oprah thing. You get a prize, you get a prize, you get a prize. It ain't going to be a car, but you get a prize and you. All righty. So yeah. thank you so much. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like. And I really hope you do like. And like and comment. Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys.